Hi, welcome to today's session. We are concentrating on uploading images, working with tables and spacing on your website. My name is Tammy and I'm with Yvette Sites and um, Megan is also on the line. She'll be helping to answer questions. So as we get started, please know that you are all muted right now. I hope you all can hear me. Please um, let me know if you can't. I'm going to go ahead and show my screen here so you can make sure you see my screen. It has a peacock on it. Top says orientation session. So during the session, I'm going to pause for questions. Uh, you can raise your hand and I can unmute you. Okay, or you can type into the question screener. We'll see it behind the scenes. Um, we'll try to address most of those questions as we're going along, um, but please feel free to ask questions as we're going along. Um, you can open your website as well, and if you want, you can open and practice along with us, uh, either on a practice page or if you're trying to edit, um, please feel free to do that as well. Just a reminder that during the session, if you have further questions and you want specific questions about your website, we can schedule a time with you afterwards as well to go through everything. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. So on your website, every section is editable, um, and then there's only one section of where you can upload images or that you see images that you wouldn't be able to upload, and that's this header content right here. Um, we can customize that, and you can email those pictures into us, and we are happy to um, help you with that. To get started in uploading images, you want to make sure that you're logging into your website. So we're going to go ahead and log in here. It's the key on the bottom left-hand corner. All right, so once we're in here, you're going to see Edit Content, Edit Special, Edit Menu, and Admin Home. Now, for uploading images on just a basic web page, you're going to go ahead and click your Edit Content button that will bring up the editor. See, I have this picture in here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this picture so that we can start from scratch. All right, so if you're in here and you say, okay, I want a picture right here and I want the text to wrap around it, you're first going to go to Insert Edit Image. You're going to click the Source button. Now, from the Source button, you know, say you have some really cute pictures that you've taken of your pets or of clinic animals, um, you have permission to use those images, you'll come in here and you'll want to click the Upload button. Now, you can either drag and drop from your Files folder or you can click Add Files here. Oops, and we just want to make sure we do a pictures. All right, and I'm going to go for sample pictures here. Now you can click one picture at a time, or you can upload multiple at, at a time. You can click your control button and click on the images that you want, and then you want to open those files. Okay, and then you want to click upload here. You want to make sure all of those images upload to 100%. Okay, once those are all at 100%, you want to click the close button, okay? They're going to go into whatever folder you're in here, okay? So if you want to put all of the dog and cat pictures or all the clinic pictures into a folder, you first want to go into that folder that you want to organize in. Um, or you can, you know, always put drag and drop them into the folder, but we recommend that doing that before... Um, you actually insert them into your website since it creates little links. Okay, so you can see now that there's check marks in all these pictures. I only want to upload one, so I'm going to unclick, and I'm going to upload these penguins here. Click the Insert button here, okay? Now, you, the dimensions. I, this is a really huge picture. Now, most of the images that you're going to take on your phones um, or digital cameras are going to be of really high resolution. You're going to want to keep your image probably between 250 and 400 pixels. What I do is I first change the number in the first box, and I'm going to click in the gray area. It's going to change the second number for me and keeping the proportions constrained so that your image doesn't distort. Okay. Over the image description, if you're in your website, and you know in some websites you um, hover over a picture and it will give you a title, this is where you're going to put that title. Okay, this is also good for your SEO. Um, you could, you know, put in here penguins of your clinic 
or penguins of the area or you know just it's something in here that's descriptive and go ahead and click OK. Now you see how this image it just you know inserted right here. Well I want the text to wrap around that okay um, so you can double click on this image and back in this menu here again you can change the size if you you know uh, decide you want a little bit bigger or smaller but for the text to wrap around you're going to click this advanced button okay and I want it to float to the left because I want the text to be on the right so I'm going to click left here all right let me go ahead and click OK. We're doing this in steps, just so you know, you can do this all at the same time. You don't have to keep going back and forth. Um, but you can see this image right here is right up against the text. I want to give it a little bit more space. Okay, so back in your advanced menu, you're going to want to give it a margin. And this is also in pixels. You can do 5 to 10 pixels. We're going to do pen, 10 pixels here. I'm also going to give it a bottom margin in case that text wraps around to the bottom. Okay. Let's click OK, and again now you can see that there's that buffer. Okay, you can also in under the Advanced tab, you can give it a colored border. Again, you're going to choose how thick a border you want by choosing how many the pixel amount here, and then border color. You can come in here, and if you know the number of the color that you definitely want, or you can come in here and you can choose a color. Click OK. Again, OK. I'm going back to our image. Here you go. Okay. Again, you want to make sure that you're saving your content as you go. Now, any image can also be linked to either a page within your website or to an outside website. For example, we have the pet library button here. If you click on this button, you can see that there is a insert in a edit link and it's highlighted and it's going to our pet library page. Now, say you don't really like this, this image. Okay, we actually have different options for you. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I'm going to go back to Insert Edit Image to my source. Now you can see we have all these folders here. And if you go to Image Bank and Evet Sites, there's actually even more here. And we have a folder called Icons. Now these are where all you're going to find the stock images that we've provided for you. You want to make sure that you're either using our stock images, images that you have taken, or images that you have purchased and you have the license to use. So we're going to click into our icons folder here. And there's different organizations here. There's also, this is where you're going to find your social media buttons. And you're also going to find different pet library um, buttons that you can choose from. You can see, you can see this little, we have little dogs on them. Just lots of options here. You can see all the different Google buttons, Instagram. Now, if there's something that you don't see a button for, we can customize buttons. We can also customize the color here and the wording on these buttons. All right. So again, I'm going to go ahead and choose this new pet library button right here. Again, you can change the dimensions here. Click OK. Again, now it's to the left. We have the alignment buttons up here. I want it in the center of my page. So I just click the center. But this button isn't linked anywhere, so how do I link it? I first highlight the image click by clicking on it. Go to Insert Edit Link. Now you can link to either a page within your website or to an outside website. For example, um, if you want a button that goes to your, or a picture that goes to your new client page, um, scheduling an appointment, um, prescription refill, you can do that, or you can do, you know, highlight or link to your Facebook page or your Instagram page. So this is the pet library is within our website. So here we have link list, and all the pages in your website are listed here. Okay, so you just go through here and find the page that you want. Again, you can see that every page is listed. And I want to go to the pet library, so I click here. And this target, I'm going to say none because it's still was on my on my website or within my website. If you were linking to your Facebook page or an outside to an association, I would click new window so that it opens a new page and doesn't take them completely away from your website. Click OK. Again, make sure you're saving content. Now let's go back and take a look at what that looks like. And just a 
word, um, just a, a note here too, sometimes things will look a little bit different in the editor than they actually do on the page. When they're on the page, they're within the template, and so things space a little differently, so we definitely want to take a look after we've inserted everything. All right, and there we go. Any questions so far about uploading images, multiple images, resizing images, um, hyperlinking to a page within your website or to an outside website? You can either raise your hand or you can type a question in. Okay. All right, let's continue on. So again, over here you see these um, social media buttons. Some people might say, oh, how do I get, how do I upload images there? Again, you go to your admin home area. Under administration is where you're going to find your header content, footer content, and common content. Okay. So again, you can change these buttons right here, and then you can link them. All right. If we need to go through that again, I can definitely show you that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and start here, but I'm also going to jump then to our staff pages. I know a lot of people have questions about staff pages and uploading images and, and how they space correctly. And now that all the templates are responsive, um, most people should be on response. So there's a few folks I know who are still moving over. If you have questions about that, we'd be happy to help you. Um, but we have a lot of things in tables now. I know in the editor it looks like a lot of lines and it can get a little confusing, but to keep things in tables will allow it to collapse down and look good whether your client's on an iPhone, iPad, any mobile device that they're on, it, your website's going to look good and they're not going to have to scroll around. Um, but again, when we're editing, sometimes, you know, spacing gets off and or the table width gets off and we need to talk about that and um, that's what we're here to do today. And then again, if you get stuck when you're working on your website, we don't want you frustrated, please give us a call um, or email support at evetsites.com. We'd be happy to take a look at it for you. So again, when you're in here and you're in the table, if you click anywhere in here, you're going to see these, these lines or these boxes, okay? Now, it's going to be really tempting to click on one of these lines if you're trying to resize something and just move it, okay? We're not going to, we, I really highly, highly recommend not doing that. Again, we want everything to stay 100%, so when it's on a mobile device, it'll space correctly. And if you define the dimensions by clicking and dragging and spacing these, yes, it looks like there's more space over here and you're making it smaller, but again, it's going to look different on the different screens that your clients are on. So say by accident, sometimes, you know, we're clicking in here and we click on one of these and we resize it, and then we get on our, you know, our phone and it looks all wonky. So what happened? Okay. You can click on this table and you can right click and within this table you can see the table properties. And it says the width here is 672 and the height is 133. We actually don't want these to have these numbers. We want these num this first to say 100% and then OK. And again, that's going to take us back, and it's going to look like this, but it's also going to collapse down and look good on all mobile devices. So within the table, you can just click in here and type away. Okay, you can edit that. You can also, so say um, we're just adding and we didn't have a Sunday on here. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and delete this so that we can add it back in. All right, so we forgot to add Sunday. So in this table, you, at the end, you can just right-click, and you can go to Row, and Insert Row After, and then you can just type away here. Okay, again, you want to make sure that you're saving your work as you go, hitting the Update button. And then, you know, say for some reason this gets deleted completely, you can create a table from scratch. And what you would do is just click somewhere on your page, go to table, insert table. Um, or say you wanted to add more information. You can come in here, add how many columns you think you're going to need, how many rows. Again, you can add more. And you can just start clicking away and typing within that table. Now, Again, this is just words. Again, when you're adding pictures, it looks a little bit different. And so let's go look at one of the staff pages. I know we get a lot of calls and questions about that. So again, to edit any page, you're going to first click on that page. OK, 
Okay. Again, hit your edit content button. And here we have a table set up. And just so you know, we do usually keep a space between images. Again, it just looks better on a mobile device. The spacing looks correct. And so if you had multiple doctors, um, you would right click to add more rows. You can see that all these lines bunched up together here. It looks like there's another row that's in there. Um, you just want to click and do a space to kind of space things out and see those cells so that you can work in them. I know, I know it's a lot of lines, but that's just a little trick to, so that when you're editing, um, you can actually see the lines and go from there. Okay. So again, we get you started off with these sample pictures. All you need to do is either backspace or highlight and delete. Again, we're going to go back to our insert edit image go to source, and if you've uploaded images, your chances are, you know, you could just pick the, the image from here. Again, you can go to upload and upload your staff images. This image is really small. Again, if you make it, you can make it a little bit larger. Depending upon the resolution, it could pixelate a little bit. This one looks all right. Over here, for the text, Again, just it's, it's what you see is what you get. Editor, you click in there and start typing away. You can highlight the text. You can change the text color. You can bold the text. You can align it however you'd want. Again, make sure you're saving your content as you go. Um, and so it, it's, the spacing, again, is off. You can go to table properties and just make sure again that it says 100% here. If it says something different um, and you're having a hard time changing it, sometimes we have to go in and clear formatting. Um, how would you do that on your own? You could just either highlight everything here, all right, um, under, oops, excuse me, you can go to format and clear formatting here. Okay, and that could reset everything. Again, if it doesn't, let us know. We'll be happy to go in there and take a look at it for you. Um, sometimes it, go, it takes going in and actually altering the source code, and we'll be happy to help you with that. But that usually clearing formatting will help. Okay, any questions so far on uploading pictures to your staff pages? If I had more staff here, I would just add do a right click row, insert row after. Okay, so see how that gives me another row. I'd put a little space in here just to keep that buffer. Oh, actually, this is the buffer row in here. Again, insert image, source. Find my image or upload it if I, you know, need to. Click OK. And so see how this one's larger and this one's, you know, bigger? You can double click on the image and see what these dimensions are. And then what I would suggest is not changing both numbers, but just take the first number and then go into your other image and make that those first numbers the same, depending upon the photo, especially with staff photos because, you know, everyone's taking them either landscape or, um, you know, or horizontal or vertical. Um, it, it'll change it to be a little bit different. Now, what if that happens, okay? We do have a really cool tool within here. So say, let me go ahead and delete this one. Say I'm uploading, or say I already have an image that's up here, okay? Um, and, you know, say I want to add my koala bear here as a staff member. And can you see how he is more landscape and this one's a little bit, you know, taller just because the orientation of the camera and the picture is different? Say I want to make him a little bit smaller or edit this image. I can right click this image within the image bank and click edit and it's going to bring the photo editor, ed editor up. Now sometimes you take image, images too and you upload them and they're sideways you can flip and rotate, okay? So if you need to, so say you upload your image and it looks like that, but you need to make him so that, you know, he doesn't look like he's, you know, hanging on sideways. Click to rotate. You're going to want to click apply, and then you're going to want to click save, okay? 
It's going to allow you to save it as a different image. So you can change his, his name a little bit so that you have both images. Click Save. Okay. Now you'll see you have the original Koala and then I have Koala 2. Again, this is a really huge image. But I'm going to put him in at 250. Click in the gray space. Click OK. All right. Now see how this is a little off because his is more of a lance, you know, a port this is more portrait and um, the, the camera was turned a little, you know, to the side. Um, and I want them to look a little bit, little bit more of the same. So how would I do that? Again, go to Insert Edit Image, Source, and then you can click the Edit button. And you can actually crop that image. Okay. So here is the time when you can you can click on those and it's not going to matter too much. But I'm going to bring this in a little bit. Take off a little of his ears, but we're going to, oops, I'm not going to click save. We're going to apply here. We're going to click save. All right. And I'm going to name him Koala 3. I'm going to go in here. Make this a little bit smaller. Our doctor is 150, so let's go ahead and go and type 150. And there we go. Um, again, this image is a little bit taller. Again, we can edit or we can edit the, the doctor's image and make them a little bit similar. Any questions about edit, editing images using that editor? Let me go ahead and allow and you. We do have we do have one question about the space between the photo and the bios. So this yes. might be a good time to talk about manipulating the column width. OK. So you can move those closer together. Right. So you, again, when you're in the table here, um, for the columns, you can insert before or insert after. Oops. All right. Um, again, for cells, you can um, adjust the cell properties here. And then, actually, let me go read that question. See how to, the space between the how much. So again, this is also going to um, affect how it looks. Um, again, when you save content and you go back to your page, let me just go back to the page here. It's going to look a little bit differently. So what we're talking about here is this space right here. Okay. You can go and you can go back to edit content and you can change the cell, cell properties. And you can change this percentage to bring it in. Save content. Oops. Sorry. I think I did that on the wrong one. There we go. Cell properties. Again, while we're in here with cell properties, um, your width, you can do borders and background colors as well. While we're in here, let's just go ahead and click on that so we can show you that. Um, you can also change your cell height and then you can align it. You can align it to the right. You can also align it um, vertically. I'm going to go ahead and do it in the middle. And I'm going to show you. So you can see, one, we've changed the background color. Two, we've changed the alignment of the picture. And let's take a look at how that looks. OK. So you're also bringing in that space. OK. Does that answer the question? Okay. 
I don't see any hands ra raised. Are there any more questions in the question box right now? All right, so where else are tables used? So again, we talked about in the common content here on the staff pages. Also in the header, so under admin home, administration, header content. You can see here, so say you had a logo, okay? You'd actually want to add a column, insert column before, and we, or maybe I did it middle, maybe I clicked on the wrong button there, sorry. So anyways, we can want it in the middle. So we have our logo, we could insert, edit image, And if you have your logo already uploaded, you can click it from here. I'm going to say this this little little dog here is our logo. Can insert, and then make sure we're updating. Let's go back to our website to see how it looks. Okay, and again, depending upon the template that you're using, will determine um, the you know how the header looks within that table. Okay. Um, again, when you're switching templates, spacing and stuff could be off. Um, a lot of time, it's going to be that that header. Okay. And again, if you're having you're struggling with it, do not hesitate to give us a call. We are happy happy to help. All right. So let's go. Like, say um, we want to say you have your staff page, but you and you have your doctor page, but maybe you want. Um, you know, pets of the year, and you want to add a page and add those pictures in. So we're going to go to Edit Menu. We're going to add a top level, and I'm going to call this Pets of the Year. All right. Again, you're going to want your title for when the search engine crawls your website. I'm just going to keep it as a basic web page. All right. Save menu information, and then we have a blank page to work from here. So then we go to edit content. Okay. We're going to table, insert table. Again, so we want maybe the month, maybe the name, um, the a picture of the animal and maybe you know a bio or some or a little blurb about their name or you know their story. Go ahead and click in here. Um, so it's months. And then You can arrange this however you want. You can also, again, change. You say you want to add a column, again, column, insert column before, after, or you can delete from here. Again, same with rows, okay? Um, you can also, you know, cut rows and paste rows if you want to rearrange things. So, again, this is right-clicking will get you to these options. So, you can just type in here, again, insert image, source, I'm going to go ahead and pick one of our folks in here. So see, again, this is a large image, how do you get back here, you double click, change this first number, click, there we go. Okay, make sure you're saving your content. All right, so we have gone over justifying um, the images, just justification, um, adding a border, um, the alignment of that image, um, editing of the image, linking of the image, resizing, um, tables, adding a table, adding columns, deleting that type of thing, um, making the table the size you need it to be, um, space between pictures, headers, um, the table within the header, um, the hours on, in the common content. Let's make sure we're, let's, let me show you a couple other places where images. So again, when you get first started, we have the poisonous plants, we have a table here. 
me show you how that looks behind the scenes. So again, you can see that this one actually has the, the line borders on it. Okay. We've talked about clearing formatting, um, adding social media icons, um, linking to pages within your website or outside. Does anybody have any questions? Or Megan, um, do you have any point tips and tricks? We all describe some things a little bit differently, so I'd like to give Megan a chance to to offer um, her advice. But in the meantime, please raise your hand or type in. It looks like we have a couple questions. Um, let's see. The staff bio bleeds into margin of template despite correction. Dr. Page um, stays as edited. This has happened a few times. Why does staff page bio layout keep changing after edited, corrected, or saved? Um, so again, sometimes what happens and actually, we'll, we'll look at your, your website specifically. So say that keeps happening. Um, so what they're describing, let me go ahead and, and manipulate this to show you what's, what, what, what they're seeing. Um, so under table properties. So this is 100% now. But if you were to, to change this and click OK, and we save content. Let me come in here and let me see if that's actually, oh, I should have made it, should have made it bigger. Um, so sometimes when you change that table, it will bleed off the template, okay? Or if you're clicking and dragging here and you're like, oh, I want it, that's, you know, that's how I want it to look. And you save your content. Let me see if it did this. Yes, yeah, so, so what she's saying is bleeding, um, or what he's saying is here is bleeding off the template. Okay, so what's happened is that temp or the table has been moved, and sometimes going into edit content and changing it back to 100% um, doesn't work. This is where you're going to want to use your clear formatting. Okay, and then you want to go into your table, table properties, and you're actually going to want to type in that 100%. Okay, if for some reason that does not work, please give us a call. We can do a team viewer session and actually look at your website with you. Um, sometimes, you know, for reasons I have yet to explain, um, clearing formatting, if you don't do it in the right spot or, you know, something, sometimes we actually have to go into the source code and, and delete out those dimensions so that it won't bleed. But we can definitely take a look at your website um, and, and we will... We will look at that and fix that for you. Okay. Any other questions? You can raise your hand and I can unmute you and you can talk with us or you can type directly into the question screener. And Megan, if I've forgotten anything, please, please speak up and make sure we make sure we let everybody know about everything they need to know about pictures and images and templates. Um, and tables. You covered everything. Um, one thing I would maybe go over is how to delete a column or a row. Okay. Good idea. So say for some reason you, um, oops. You, say for some reason you have a, a column in here that, you know, is creating spacing issues. Um, and sometimes people don't realize that, that, that it's even in there. Um, but they're looking at their website and you know, something seems a little off, and they're like, why is there all this white space over here? There could be an extra column in there. And so you would go into edit content, okay? You would right click. You'd click somewhere in that column, right click, go to column, and delete column. And make sure you're saving your content as you go, okay? Again, if you want to talk to us, please feel free to raise your hand and I can unmute you or you're welcome to type into the question screener and we'd be happy to answer questions that way. There will be a recording of this session and it will be posted here at evetsites.com under the orientation, so under support, orientation sessions and we have the past general orientations. Um, if you are looking for a general orientation, we do have the recorded videos from past sessions. We also have them posted on our YouTube channel. 
so you can find them there as well. Um, also, if your staff would like a general orientation or you have someone new in the clinic that's going to be taking over editing of the website, we would be happy to help them. You can schedule an individual orientation with us and we can do it via TeamViewer um, at a time that's most convenient for you. Okay, I don't see any questions in the question screener, but we'll we'll hang around here to, to answer questions. Oh, another question here. Is it possible to upload our own photos into the stock template banners? So I'm assuming you're talking about the header banner. Let's go ahead and so where this peacock is. Um, so actually at this time, no, there's not a way to upload your own images there, but you can customize those images. You'll just need to send those into support at evetsites.com, and our designer will put those in the, the header or the banner for you. Um, we can rotate images as well. The thing to know is so if you're going to use a template that has a large image like this, the, the dimensions do matter because otherwise it will pixelate and, and won't look look correct. Um, if you are thinking about um, uploading or wanting to customize these images, um, you might want to give us a call just to make sure you have the right dimensions. Um, again, under admin home for the different templates. If you are wanting just to customize, um, say, this little image in the right-hand corner, you know, just a normal digital photo, will, you know, the dimensions are probably fine. Um, okay, let's see, you're referring to the banner with multiple images. Let me go back to the website here. The banner was multiple images. So you're on the uh, Rockville template mm -hmm. and you can do multiple images on that one. So if you wanted to send us a few, we can have them rotating through or oh. we can just do three static images. Okay, for example, think, like on yeah. this template. Okay, yes. Yeah. So if you have, I guess I didn't save that. Sorry. Let me go back here. So say this is the template that you have or using or you have these images. Yes, you can send in the images um, for up here and we can, um, our designer will put those in to the header and we can also make those rotate. Just want to make sure that that answers your question. Okay, great, wonderful. All right, so this basically concludes our session today on images, tables, and spacing. Again, if there, you're having this particular issue with your website and we haven't answered your questions today, um, or you want us to take a look at your website, please let us know. You can either give us a call um, at the 888-332-5316, or you can email support at evetsites.com, and we'd be happy to help you. Um, we will definitely take the take a look at the website that uh, was mentioned earlier um, with the spacing to see what's going on there. Okay, we're going to hang on the line here. If you have any, think of any questions. If you have questions about anything else besides pictures or tables, we'd be happy to answer that those questions right now as well. Um, next week we are planning on having a session on SEO, search engine optimization. So same time, same place, if you would like to attend that as well. We will be recording that session and posting it as well. Thank you for attending today, and we'll just hang on for questions. Just a note too, as far as uploading images, um, we, we talked about basic web pages today. If you are wanting to do a slideshow on one of your pages, um, those, pa those images are uploaded um, differently. Then you actually don't use your image bank for that. So um, if you have questions on that or other page types, please let us know. All right, again, that concludes today's session. Please let us know if you have any questions. We'd be happy to help.